Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? It's Papa Bail, and welcome to the channel. So I was just messing around with my drive circuit here, and uh, I moved the coils back about a half an inch away from the rotor, and I left the, like, the pickup part of the coil, this, this part of the coil, in close. And... We have, it's still picking up speed, it's almost 700 RPMs, 695 at 13 volts, so 695 is what we had. I'm wondering what would happen if I moved the other coils out just as much. Seven hundred RPMs. There was an increase of five just there. And I haven't I haven't touched the voltage or any switches or any knobs. And we started at like five fifty with them right up next to it. And I did a little bit of maneuvering with the trigger trigger switch here, trigger coil. Yeah, man, I haven't touched the voltage, and we've increased the speed by, like, 200 RPMs. Just by m m m maneuvering the coils. And that, just that. So things were not lined up, which is normal. I mean, it's not glued down. It's going to move around. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, the trigger switch here is not glued down. So it's going to move around. So I got it in the sweet spot, I think. If it could be better, it might get better. Oh, well, the shaft is starting to shake a little bit. But I want to see what how fast it's going. 705. I don't know what would happen if I moved those uh, those other three coils a little bit farther away from the rotor. Do I, do I need to be that greedy? <laughs> I don't know. Because they're really, really close and to get them that close is not easy. And then sometimes the glue doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Like it's, it doesn't stick. It doesn't uh, bond. Like it's supposed to. That's awesome. So, what this is, is you got the power going from the power distribution over there on that end, snaking around, coming in to each one of these fatter coils. And it goes through that, and then it's hooked into the little coil with a refractor. Um, rectifier diode uh, sending the energy into the next coil and out into the transistors which there are three of so there's three groups of coils I think that's sweet I think one one final test here. We're gonna turn it off. All right. Well, I'm gonna close out here. We're gonna let it wind down. We'll see if I got the circuit right. Hey, let's get a tack reading on that. Well, it's been like 30 seconds, right? Still going 578.
So it's like one and a quarter drop. Five fourteen. So it's it's decreasing pretty quickly, but it's still like not as fast as it. I'm telling you, man, that that's whipping right now. <clears throat> 500 RPMs. All right, I'm going to start it up one more time and we are going to see how Another way to determine whether the circuit's good, how long it takes. To get up to speed, we're gonna do 10 volts this time, 10.5. See, it's a very slow start. because the trigger coil is backed out about an inch and a half away but you'll see it's it's in the right spot yeah so got this one over here on a reed switch it's at 180 degrees Five filer coils. Whipping right along. 10 volts, 10.5 volts as well. It's on the same distribution uh, as the other pulse motor. It's already been quite a long video, so I'm jumping into gear here. This will be the first time I actually started it with the big coils backed out the way they are. And if you can see, um, this coil right here is backed out now about a half an inch. So we'll see what happens. It is engaged, I just, I don't know if it will take off. But I say that every time and it does. But that was at 13 volts, not 10. Alright, I think we got action now. And that'll continue. Let's get a tack reading real quick. I'm sorry that took so long to do. Um, 158. 10 volts, right? 158 was our last reading. And I'll wait another 5 seconds and do another one.
305. So we'll wait one more minute. Uh -huh, it's a couple seconds. Three fifty. See, I'm wondering if I back out those little coils as well, if I can get it to go even faster than it, than it gets going. 400. So, uh, 158 to 400 in an acceleration phase that takes a long time. Is in my opinion, four, four fifty, four forty four. Ten volts. I'm going to back this out again. Four seventy eight and hit five hundred at ten volts. Four ninety. Wow, it just keeps going up, man. That's kind of scary if you think about it. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll plateau at some point but it just keeps going up a little bit at a time five oh two let's put it in oh wow kind of went up at the 13 volts but I don't know anyway you get what I'm saying I'm gonna turn it off and we'll get that wonderful coasting ability after and I believe it's the, because of the way the coils are hooked up. All right. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Have a great day. Please subscribe. Bye now.